Good morning, Humphrey Park. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Good morning, Helper Park. I've got some iLearn announcements uh, to make, so bear with me. iLearn does start on Monday for all students in your math classes. Um, you're going to be doing that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in your math class, and then um, we start breaking it up by grades a little bit, so your teachers will keep you posted on that. Um, after math is done, we'll do language arts, and sixth grade has some science to do too. Uh, practice testing that's going on right now, please, if anything's going on with your uh, devices, um, if something's not working on there or you don't have um, some tools on there that you should, please let your teachers know. We really need to get that worked out today before we get started on Monday. Um, things to bring with you when you uh, test on any of your testing sessions, please bring a pencil. Please bring your headphones if you would like to use your own headphones. There'll be some headphones available to you, but if you would like to use your own, please bring them. They must have a wire on them, okay? They cannot be wireless headphones. So they have to have wired headphones if you're gonna use your own. Um, please bring a book, because um, you're not gonna be able to get on your cell phones, you're not gonna be able to get on your device and play games when you're done with the testing. Um, if you have some additional time, you're gonna need to get into a book, or bring a sketch pad to just kind of, you know, you're not going to be able to get online, okay? So, or on any kind of device when you're finished. So, have, be prepared for that. Um, test security, um, I am required to go over with you some rules, and then when, when you take the test, um, when you log in, you're going to be asked um, to verify that this has been uh, gone over with you, so you can uh, quickly tech, click yes, because it has. All right, first thing is, um, you need to make sure that you turn in your test ticket, okay? So when you're given a test ticket with your name and your STN number on it, please don't take that with you. Please don't throw it in the trash, all right? You need to give that back to your teacher before you leave, all right? They should be collecting those, but be sure they're handy for them to collect, okay? Do not walk out of the room with your test ticket, okay? Put your name on your scratch paper. You're gonna be given some scratch paper when you're doing math. You can be given um, some graph paper as well. Please put your name on that. We'll collect that at the end of a class period and you can get that back the next day, okay? So please put your name on any scratch paper that's given to you. At the end, again, do not take this with you, all right? Um, we'll destroy that ourselves. You are not allowed to take the scratch paper that you've written on with you. Uh, don't throw it away yourself. We'll take care of that. All of that should go back to your teacher. All right. You may not have your cell phone with you. You may not have your Apple Watch on during testing. Okay, anything that allows you to get online, you may not have in a testing session. Okay, and I wanna, I wanna make it clear that if that is, if you're caught with your cell phone or your Apple Watch, then the policy is they confiscate it and they go through it, okay? And we don't want that and you don't want that. So they wanna make sure no pictures have been taken um, of, the, of the test content or anything. So, and if that happens, then lots of people's tests gets invalidated. So please just don't have those things with you uh, so we won't have any problems, okay? All right, next is Calculators. Um, some portion of your math test allows you to use a calculator. Um, most of you, the vast majority of you, the calculator is on the test. So you just click on the calculator tool that's already in the uh, system. There's a handful of kids that have been approved to use a hand calculator, so they, they may have that on your desk, okay? That's probably not you. If it is you, then you know it, okay? So don't get alarmed if you see a kid or two around you that happens to have a calculator on their desk. They've been through a process, they've been approved to do that, okay? What's the next thing? All right, no talking about the test content, okay? This is important. Don't go home and start posting stuff about question number four and what it said, um, or you're really not even supposed to talk amongst uh, your classmates. 
about um, any of the test content. This is really important. All right, Butterfingers. All right, only work in the test session that you have been assigned, okay? So once you have um, gone on to a, a test session, you're not allowed to go back into, uh, into any other test sessions uh, to work on anything or move forward. Only the test session that your teacher has assigned, be sure you're just working within that session. All right, I told you that. All right, that's really it. On Monday um, is when it, um, the big party begins. The other thing I want you to know is that speaking of party, we do have an iLearn celebration planned. And I meant to bring up one of those yellow sheets. Eighth graders, you probably remember this. There's a yellow sheet that we'll put on your desk. Anytime you're in a test session, your teachers are gonna rate you on your effort of that test session, okay? Um, those of you who are rated as good or excellent um, effort during your test sessions, then at the end, when all of this is over, you will be invited to the iLearn celebration. It's, a, it's a, basically a party outside. The whole school is there. Um, we have karaoke going on and carnival games and there'll be um, some food and lots of stuff, okay? So it's a, it's a good time for everyone. You want to be invited to that. So good effort um, on your iLearn tests will get you to that celebration, okay? Um, that ye little yellow paper that's on your desk the teachers will pass out for each session that will be um, a rating system. You can rate yourself. Your teachers will also rate you at the, at the end of each test session. And that's how we'll know who to invite um, to the iLearn celebration. So that will be on May the 19th is when that's scheduled. Um, so it should be a really good time. So good luck. If you have any questions, come see me in my office and have a great day. Good morning. Today is Thursday, April 15th at the park. Happy birthday to Luke Shu and Mrs. Wright. Celebrating birthdays over the weekend are Sean Hamilton, Madeline Hargo, Audrey Gumbel, Cheyenne Johnson, and Braden Bell, and me, Landon Price. Boys, if you're interested in playing football, the Rice Football Camp is coming up. You can pick up a registration form in the office. First camp day is April 26th. Helper Park draft teams did an amazing job last night at, against Plaza Park. Girls Varsity won 69-26, Reserves won 54-43, Boys Varsity won 66-27. If you are in 6th or 7th grade and participating in cross country, we would, like, we would love to have you on our team. We have many open positions on our reserve team. Boys Reserves lost 66-27. Amazing job by all, and a big thanks to all the staff who helped out last night and of course our awesome manager. Just a reminder, we will not have uh, practice this evening. Tomorrow is e-learning. Make sure you log into your classes and please do not show up to school. Check lost and found. It's getting cold. After school, we have math team until 4 p.m. No track practice. For lunch, we'll have garlic French bread pizza or ravioli. Be strong. Be proud. Let's hear your roar and, don't, and have a perfect day and don't forget to mask up.